Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up. Now today I've started work on the new No Dig Raised Beds, the next set along from the set I built and videoed extensively just recently. Now I'm not filming this today, but while I was landscaping this area and marking it out, there was a little bit of a pool of water in one area, I stood in it, slipped and I nearly went completely onto me, um, onto me bottom of my back area. Um, if you see what I mean, managed to catch myself and when I looked up um, stood up and looked around I realised there was nobody on site and I thought it's actually quite dangerous being on an allotment so I'm going to go inside the tunnel and I'm going to have a coffee and I'm going to film something for you which I think is going to be incredibly useful and it could essentially save a life or save further injury so um, we'll go and have a we're going to have a coffee and then I'll film this little bit for you. <laughs> okay, so it sounds slightly dodgy. You can be out on your plot. There can be nobody else on site, especially at this time of year. And, you know, as you're heading into winter, many gardeners are summer gardeners only. Not many people come out in this rain uh, unless you're a complete nutter like me. And this is the sort of stuff that can slip you up and cause you problems. But there's an internet application called What Three Words. Now what these folks have done is they've split the world into three metre squares. So it's three metres that way and three metres that way. And that square itself has its own unique address that will never change. And the address is three words. So it'll be, and the format will be word dot word dot word. And it's unique for that square, will never change. And it means you can direct somebody to a place that hasn't got a physical address, such as an allotment site. Now I'm going to flash up for you on the screen uh, a photo and a map in what three words of St Anne's allotments in Nottingham. I'm choosing them because they're the biggest site in the country. Now looking at this you can see that there's hundreds of plots there, there's over six, seven hundred plots on their site. And if you were directing emergency services to turn up there you could say Take the second road, 300 yards along, there's a path. Fourth plot on the right, there's another little plot, path, and then it's second plot on the right, and I'm just behind the greenhouse. That's a hell of a mouthful to tell somebody when you need them in an emergency. It's a hell of a mouthful to be passed on from operator to the emergency services, and then to interpret it when they turn up. But if they've got a what three word address, they can just go straight there. Now the emergency services are using this. I'm here in Cumbria and there's hundreds of square miles of wild area here, fells, lakes, moors. It's full of the area, full of it. Now I know the emergency services use it here as do the mountain rescue and it's saved lives because they can give people a direct address of where exactly to turn up to. And that when they turn up at that what, what three words address, they're gonna be there. So, let's go and look at the application. If you go and type it into your browser or into your browser on your phone or whatever device you've got, go to what three words and the first thing you'll see is a map and it'd be a sort of coloured map. We need to change that first. So on the very bottom right hand corner of the screen there's a little globe of the earth. Click or tap on that once and the picture will change to satellite photography. Now. Now that you've got that satellite photography, you can navigate the map, move it around to find your area, your allotment plot or your back garden or whatever you want to do. And you can zoom in photographically to a given square, click or tap on that square and the address will pop up top left of the screen. And it'd be that three words address. That will never change and that's your safety net. Now you can leave that address at home by the phone for, for your partner, for your family, for your parents, wh whoever may need that address. You can say this is where I'm going, this is my plot, this is where I'm walking to, this is where I'm going to meet you and they will always be able to find you within that three metre square. So it's a help and it speeds things up. Now, many of the top companies in the world are using it. I know for, for instance that DPD is one company to use it. There's hundreds. And another thing that I looked into, um, 
when I first started using this app a couple of years ago, apparently Mongolia, because of the nomadic nature of the people there, they use what three words as their addressing for the whole country. And that says something. So it's not going away anytime soon and it's something that's going to be constantly used. Now, my undercover growing space is, I'll give you the address for that and you could be the first one you type in and go and have a look. So. Go into what three words, tap on the globe to change it to photography imagery from satellites and then in the address bar at the top left of the screen tap and type in chef.slice.wings and you'll find my undercover growing space. So this is just a heads up for you guys, it can save times, I mean you can even write the address on your gate so that anybody who's trying to help you can quote that to emergency services if God forbid you have some sort of an accident. I say that little accident this morning just highlighted it for me how vulnerable you can be on an allotment site um, and you know it may save a life one day, uh, it may help direct someone's to get you help you know if, if for instance you're having a fire or something and the shed catches fire or if somebody falls over and breaks their ankle you know so all these things or even if you can't start your car and you can't get away you can call the the RAC or the AA or other breakdown service and give them the address of exactly where you are so go and have a look at that and uh, get your important addresses logged down Put them in your wallet or your purse or put them next to your phone at home let people know where you're going you can even use it to type a waypoint um, along a walk let's say you're going off for a walk through the countryside through and they're not marked roads they might be just dirt roads you could put waypoints for the for the gate for that next field and hopscotch away along and say this is where i'm going that's my normal walk that's where i normally go and if you don't turn up back there is an area for someone to go looking for you so it's a good application go and have a look and I hope God forbid that you never have to need it for medical use but you know it's there if you do